Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being a part of the ministry. If you're new to the channel, you are very welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please subscribe so that you don't get to miss any of our videos. And also, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for joining us to receive God's word today. I pray you all are doing well. I hope you all are having a glorious uh, September. So today's word is about love and faithfulness. My Heavenly Father sent me tonight to give this word to you. I was busy doing what I was doing at home with the kids and I heard a voice speak to me, release a video and talk about faithfulness tonight. So I said, yes, Father, I will do that. Okay, praise God. Um, as you all have seen on the channel lately, I haven't really been releasing um, too much words or too much prophetic words. I've only just been waiting on God to receive exactly what he wants me to give out. And, and then I can come up here and let you all know what the father is saying. OK, except I have something, you know, important to actually let you all know about. And um, yeah, that's about it, really. So we're going to be talking about love and faithfulness today um, with regards to our relationship with God and also in marriage as well. Praise God. I'm going to say another short prayer. I've already prayed before this. Very important to keep praying. Pray, 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 pray. <laughs> I'm going to say another short prayer. Then I'm going to read one scripture or two scriptures and then, and then I'll get right into this word. Praise God. Father, thank you again for the opportunity to bring this word to your people. I thank you that you've given me this word tonight on faithfulness, Lord. I pray that this word will minister to the heart and the minds of your children and that this word of God will stir up faith in them, O oh God, and will help them understand what it is you're saying, O oh Lord, concerning their life, their love life, their relationship, their marriage, O oh God, and even their union with you, Heavenly Father, that they will come Come into living a life, oh God, a faithful life, a life of love and faithfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Holy Spirit, I give myself to you and I ask that you would take absolute control even right now in this hour, oh Lord. Speak through me, Lord. May they hear you speaking, not me, but you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, so I'm going to read, I'm going to read from the book of from the book of 1 Corinthians 4 verse 2 and that says now it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful I'm going to read that one more time okay because I just enjoy reading that over and over so that you get to understand what I'm saying okay now it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay, so this is Apostle Paul speaking in this particular scripture. Okay, talking about, you know, um, trust and faithfulness because both of them work hand in hand with each other and also with love as well, right? Because we can't say that we love God or that we love our spouse or that we love someone, but then we're not faithful. We're not loyal, you know? It's like you saying, you know, God, I love you, but then you're not committed to God. Because you being committed to God or you being faithful to God is a proof of your love to God. Hallelujah. Okay. So God is saying to you today, right? You say you love me, but are you committed towards the word of love that you are speaking about? You say you love me, but how faithful are you towards my kingdom, towards our relationship how faithful are you do you give thanks are you the, are you the kind of um person that you know give thanks to god right do you do you constantly acknowledge god appreciate him do you do you praise him right because god is really speaking to somebody right now okay this word is not for everybody okay but it is for someone i believe that it is for someone because god gave this word to me tonight to come up here and give this word out right so Let's not, um, you know, only show our love by our words, because that's really not you expressing your love by your words. It's good if you tell God, God, I love you. But are you expressing that love by your deeds, by your actions? Amen. Are you expressing that love by your actions? Because God wants to see the proof, the receipts of your love. God loves us 
even before you know we even came to him to say god i love you because you saved me no he loves every single one of us every single one of us right believers and unbelievers he loves us so so much but you only become you know sorry but but you only begin to um experience god's love or understand the depth and the magnitude the breadth and the width of his love when you um begin to serve him faithfully serving him committedly serving him diligently serving him those are um platforms or uh, ways or mediums through which you are um revealing your love to god through your faithfulness to him through your commitment to him in church and outside of church in your home when you're outside in the mall wherever you are the way that you live the way that you you know um the way that you you know handle matters with regards to you know um the kingdom okay those are ways that you can um prove your love to god we must be faithful to god hallelujah the word of god says here in the same scripture that i read it says those who have been given a trust must prove faithful right so if god has trusted you with something in church or if god has trusted you with with a relationship your marriage if god has you know trusted that marriage unto you to say you know take this you know person as your divine spouse you must prove faithful in that marriage you must be faithful to your spouse right you can't just live your life the way you want to because now you know finally god has blessed you with a divine spouse no god wants you to be faithful to your spouse because he has trusted you with that marriage he has given that marriage to you he has he has given that divine union to you for you to take responsibility to making sure that it turns out to be you know everything that god intended for it to be because you have work to do Many of us are so eager to get into marriage, but how many of us are just as eager to making that marriage work? Because God actually blessing you with a spouse is part A. Part B to the entire thing is you putting in the work that will now um, allow for the marriage to prosper, to excel, to succeed, to be sustained in the name of Jesus Christ. So God is saying to you, I've trusted you with this thing. I've trusted you with this thing. Now you need to be faithful. You must be faithful to your spouse. You must be faithful to your wife. You must be faithful to your husband. What are you doing? What are, what are the things that you are doing to prove your faithfulness to your spouse? Can they trust you? Do you serve your partner? Wives, are you um submissive to your husbands? Are you obedient to your husbands? We are in the age now where many women think that, you know, I think there's a, a feminist movement going on, something like that, that many women are not willing to be submissive to their husbands and they're not willing to be obedient to what their husband tells them to do. And that's the wrong way for us to live. Many people that are going to click on this video are actually going to come and start saying all sorts of things about, no, you know, that's 2000 years ago. Good and fine for you. But the truth of the matter is this. This is God's word. Wives, submit unto your husbands. Husbands, love your wives. Husbands, love your wives. Wives, submit. Husbands, love. Love them and lay your life down for your wives like Christ laid his life down for the church. All these things are all part of us showing and displaying our faithfulness to our spouse. Faithfulness is key in marriage. Saying I love you is not enough. We must prove our love by our faithfulness to God in our relationship with God. We must prove our um, love to our spouse by being faithful to our spouse by being committed to them to their needs and their desires in marriage that is what god is saying to you tonight praise god hallelujah so i hope that this word has been a blessing unto you and if anyone has any questions please feel free to email um, us here at the ministry contact at um, newman gofferwood dot com contact at newmangofferwood.com i'll put the email in the bar below you can check that out as well okay 
So I hope that this word has helped somebody. Okay. God bless you all. And uh, before I go, I want to ask anyone that is interested in giving their life to Jesus Christ, because now is the time more than ever. We are in the end time and Christ is coming very, very soon. He is coming soon. And he's saying to you, Will you open the door of your heart for me that I may come in and dwell within you and transform you and renew you and empower you for a life of glory, victory, signs and wonders? If that is you, or maybe at one point in your life, you give your life to Christ, but then you lived your life however way you, you um, chose to live your life. Or are you constantly actually fornicating? Okay. Or you committed adultery once upon a time. Listen, it's between you and God. You just have to say that prayer of salvation to rededicate your life back to God and God wipes away whatever you did yesterday. Don't feel guilty about it. God hasn't come, you know, or sent Christ to come to condemn you. No, it's to convict you of what you have done and also to give you forgiveness and to heal your heart. So say this prayer after me. Oh Lord God, I come to you today. I believe that you died on that cross for me and you rose up on the third day. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. Wash me of my iniquities. I receive grace to live for you. From this day onwards, I receive your Holy Spirit into my spirit. I now declare that I am born again, that I am renewed in my spirit. I receive the grace and the strength and the courage to continue to live a life of dominion, power and victory over all circumstances. Thank you, Lord, for your love. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Well done on saying that prayer. And God is very, very much excited that you returned to him. And I want you all to continue to stay committed to God. Stay faithful to him. Serve him. Go out and tell somebody about Jesus Christ. If you're not going out to do it, do it on your on your um on your um Instagram, do it on YouTube, do it on Twitter, do it on Facebook, right? Tell people about Jesus Christ because this is the most important thing to God's heart, right? Praise God. Okay. So with our love must come our faithfulness, and with our love must come our commitment. We must be committed and faithful to God. That is the way of how we can prove our love for God and our spouse. Praise God. Anyone that, that needs counseling, coaching, mentoring, anyone that needs um, coaching, counseling, mentoring, or you want to partake of our spiritual empowerment class, please feel free to um, check out the link below, nyamangofurudguide.com. There's a link in the bar below. You can check that out. There's, there's so many counseling um, and um, coaching sessions as well. And if you need help with your prayer life, that is there as well. Uh, single parents, um, there's a, a session there for you as well um, to help you on um, so many um, ways. And what else is there? There's a prophetic prayer session in place as well. Kingdom marriage keys to guide you and prepare you for kingdom marriage just to you know um enlighten you and to give you some understanding of how kingdom marriage works and how god blesses you with that there's so much there for you all so definitely check that out if you're interested and i'll see you all in the next video it could be a live video actually and yeah so yeah oh, before i go very quickly oh i almost forgot thank you so much for all of your warm messages on my <laughs> engagement <laughs> or on my um wedding that is coming up okay so um yeah i um i would give give some more information about that um but yeah thank you so much everyone and for anyone that is um looking to um being a part of our celebration or to supporting us you can you can do that through um pay, uh, paypal god has released us to creating a uh, source a platform okay for friends and family to be able to be a blessing onto us so check below for the link the link should be there as well you can definitely be a blessing by sowing a seed to us thank you in advance and yeah thank you so much you all thank you so much i'm so sorry that, that this video is so long and sorry for my stuttering also i love you all and i'll see you all soon god bless you and god keep you in jesus name amen